Hello everyone, today we're unboxing one of our top performing funds, the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. Since it's been launched, it's performing very well with a return of 39% in 2019. If you're not yet invested in this fund, we will give you reasons why you should start investing in it today. I'm Bryce, and here with me is Dustin Ang, Atram's Multi-Asset Portfolio Manager, and uh, he will be giving us the lowdown of uh, the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. So, Dustin, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Okay. I'm sure our viewers would like to know, what makes the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund different from all the other funds in the industry? The Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund gives you access to the tech winners of tomorrow. It emphasizes active management in this space, which is critical for such a dynamic sector. The fund also has a good balance between the different subsectors within the industry, which gives you a more balanced performance over time. Why should we be investing in tech today? Do you see value in tech? Uh, the tech sector is unique in that it is able to permeate into others, other areas of the industry. We're seeing innovation in so many areas that change the way we interact, work, and play. There's a good number of long-term drivers, like the Internet of Things, uh, electric vehicles, artificial intelligence, gaming, biotech, the list goes on. While it is true that the tech sector runs at a premium over other sectors, we believe valuations are justified. No other sector can match the growth and disruption we're seeing in this space. What are the types of stocks the fund is invested in? What's good about this fund is that it gives you a good balance between three main sectors within the industry, namely software, hardware, and semiconductors. Some examples of software companies are your Google, Facebook, Microsoft. For hardware, you have Apple and HP. And for semiconductors, these are Intel, Nvidia, and Qualcomm. The reason we emphasize the classification is because it's important to be diversified across the three subsectors. Each will deliver different risk return profiles. For example, your software companies uh, are typically more growth oriented and tend to rally stronger in up markets, but can come down just as fast. To balance this out, it's important to, in to be invested in the traditional tech such as hardware and semiconductors that give you a bit more of a defensive position. So let's take a look at some of the stocks in the fund. Exciting. Okay, first off, Intel. So Intel is a great company to own to build some security in a tech fund. Intel is one of the world's largest integrated manufacturer of microprocessors and chipsets, which are major factors of production for all things tech. Earlier, when we were talking about balancing out higher beta software stocks, Intel is one of the best examples for this. Okay, so second one is uh, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, or TSMC okay. for short. TSMC is the world's largest semiconductor foundry. Uh, it has a strong market position uh, across different tech, tech nodes, making it an excellent proxy for emerging technology trends. Through their widening reach, um, uh, it has made them a cost leader within the industry. Third, NetEase. Also another great pick for that higher growth potential, um, NetEase is the second largest game developer and e-commerce business in China. If we have some gamers watching today, um, some of you might be familiar with the games they've developed like Rules of Survival or Marvel Super War. SAP. Okay, so SAP is known for its development of enterprise software and services. Maybe some of you use some of their services like uh, your, your company's payroll system, supply chain logistics, or data management. It's a very solid company uh, to own to get exposure in cloud computing technology. Even with its already broad-based product offerings, uh, the company still spends a lot in R&D for new cloud initiatives. Okay, so last stock we have today, Alphabet. Of course, no tech fund is complete without Alphabet, or maybe some of you may know it better as the parent company of Google. Um, Alphabet is a strong franchise with an excellent track record of innovation and acquisitions. Its business model centers around accumulating knowledge. 
Uh, some of the company's latest innovations include artificial intelligence and machine learning. Now I'm sure you're interested to invest in the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. Just go to www.seedbox.ph, sign up and create an account. No need to come to our office, everything is done online. If you found this video helpful, please like and share. And if you have any other questions, you can visit us at www.seedbox.ph and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.